I'm not a fan of Joe Biden in any sense, but I just sat through decades of watching critics of Rush Limbaugh and more recently critics of Donald Trump selectively edit videos to make Rush Limbaugh look bad and to make Donald Trump look bad to emphasize their point. People had to edit reality, had to edit video clips in order to make their target of choice more evil, more incompetent, more insane. I objected to this when it was done by Democrats against Republicans. Now that Republicans are out of power, I'm sad to say that we're seeing a repeat of this technique against President Joe Biden. One of the things that surprised me about Joe Biden's initial 30 days, which we're not through yet, is that many of the things that he campaigned on as a candidate in 2020, he implemented within his first 30 days. Now, you can argue with his executive orders. You can debate whether they're good for the country. But to my great surprise, the executive orders that Joe Biden signed accurately reflected a large majority of the things he campaigned on in 2020. This tells me, to my surprise again, that Joe Biden is in charge of the White House, Joe Biden is in charge of setting his agenda, and Joe Biden does know what he's doing for as long as he's in the White House. Now, this doesn't mean that Kamala Harris, the vice president, isn't sizing up the Oval Office for new drapes. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, many of the presumptions that Republicans went into the 2020 campaign with to vilify Joe Biden over have not been supported in fact. And I'm emphasizing this because if you create a set of false ideas and false narratives around Joe Biden, it will make it that much harder to defeat him, his ideas, and defeat the Democratic Party in future elections. This is the mistake Democrats and Trump's primary opponents made in 2016. They created so many false narratives around Donald Trump that they were all collectively astonished when Trump won the 2016 presidential election. We should not repeat that mistake. And I want to share with you an example of this. This is a video that a friend of mine showed me. He thought this was clear, conclusive proof that Joe Biden is out of it. Joe Biden's suffering dementia. Joe Biden's not with it. From this clip from Rumble, here's, here's how they list it. Rumble, astonishing outtake from a recent Joe Biden interview proves major problems he's suffering that the media and establishment are trying to hide. Visit www.populist.press, the number one aggregator, which tells you right there that they're not creating news content. With Rush Limbaugh passing yesterday, I think of his entire career dedicated to truth and honesty, no matter what. Because he, Rush Limbaugh believed that the truth and the facts would support the conservative position and the Republican position. We should not need to falsify video in order to prove a point or win an argument. The argument here is everyone, quote, clearly knows, unquote, that Joe Biden is demented and therefore unfit for office. We've seen many indicators of this. He's had many senior moments. Now, this clip here from People Magazine. Yes, that's Jill and Joe Biden. We're going to play this. I've got several problems with this clip. It's 31 seconds long. Here's the rumble clip. Let's watch it. We start with the time code up in the upper left corner. Now, look, look at that. Why, if you're trying to prove that Joe Biden is demented, why do you need to interrupt... <coughs> Exactly. Interrupt a 31 second clip, which supposedly is proving Joe Biden, our president, is demented. Why do you need to interrupt that clip with an artificial zoom on his face? Watch here again. We go back to this wide framing shot. Let's continue watching. Again, this video is supposed to prove that Joe Biden is out of it. We zoom again unnecessarily. This is not a zoom by People Magazine, who is filming this in the White House. Uh, another zoom. Again, not by People Magazine. You can see their watermark on the upper right corner. Another zoom. The, this is a 31 second clip. And we reach the end with Joe Biden apparently looking concerned at, at Joe, acting crazy or whatever. And. 
here's my big problem with this clip. It's only 31 seconds. Why do you need to edit it 57 times every half second to pretend that you're adding to the case, that you're emphasizing the case, that you're making the case that Joe Biden is demented? If he was truly demented, here's the key point in my video, you would not need to zoom or edit or stop or change anything on this 31 second clip. If, they, if Rumble or whoever made this video simply ran 31 straight seconds unedited of Joe Biden looking out of it and confused, I might believe it. That's not what they do here. These abrupt transitions on this clip could be the director saying, Mr. Biden, the lighting is wrong. Could you pause the interview? Mr. Biden, there's a plane flying overhead. It's interrupting with the audio on your live interview. Would you mind waiting? Not at all. Mr. Biden, the microphone isn't working. Would you mind waiting while we go swap out the microphone and get a different one? Or, Mr. Biden, what would your party like to have for lunch? There's any a number of things that could be happening over this 31 seconds that would explain this clip. And the reason that I'm giving Joe Biden the benefit of a doubt here is one very solid reason. We've seen hostile Democrats edit clips of Donald Trump to make him look crazy and medically unfit for the job. We've seen clips of Democrats doing this to Republicans all over the place. Are we now going to show that we're better than Democrats and just as good as Democrats by employing their fake techniques of massaging reality and editing reality to make our point? Folks, if it's so obvious that Joe Biden is demented and unfit for his job in 2021 as President of the United States, you would not need to edit a clip like this to emphasize your point, to make your point. This disgusts me. Rush Limbaugh passed away yesterday, standing for truth, life, and liberty, believing in American values, believing in the American Constitution, believing in our country and our way of life. And this person who made this clip? This is Rush Lumbaugh's successor? This is how we're going to go into the next presidential campaign? Faking reality just like the Democrats do with all their fake news networks? Are you kidding me? This is not the conservative movement that I'm watching here on this clip. In fact, if you were to ask me who made this clip, I would think this is counter-propaganda made by a Democrat in order to preemptively attack Biden critics. So that this is just ridiculous, folks. I'm out of here.